Welcome back everyone to Adobe Live here on Behance. This is our last day with mm -hmm. Kay Asadera. I'm gonna miss you, Kat. I'm gonna miss you too. My alter ego, my other half of my Kit Kat bar. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> I like it. Uh, welcome everyone, thanks for hanging out. We've got Daryl in the chat, Anita is back. Anita, did you win something yesterday? I think she did. I think she's a lucky lady. Uh, so if you are new to the stream this week, we're focusing on illustration yes. with an emphasis on color, which you can see Kate does a beautiful job with color. Oh, this is one of her paintings behind us. Kyle T. Webster says, day three of crazy inspiration. Woo! Woo thanks, Kyle. Yeah, thanks for being here again, Kyle. Really appreciate it. Um, so we might want to introduce you again in case people have never met you before. Hi, I'm Kay and I do illustrations, concept art for movies at the moment. I have a TV show at with Amazon Prime called Nika and the Sword of Light. Go check it out, it's Seriously. a fun show. It's so fun, beautiful as well. <laughs> and so today I'm gonna continue on and finish this up for y'all. Mm -hmm. And it's all about the deets. Cool, so maybe, <laughs> yay, everyone's so excited that you're back. <laughs> Um, maybe before you jump into what you're working on okay, right yeah, now, yeah. can you Go like ahead. show from where you started? Oh, you had those yeah. three concepts or those couple head concepts? Let me see. If you yeah. maybe have them. I maybe do. Not. And while you're Let opening that, I'll show your work. Open that stuff up. Perf. And that, yeah, oh, chat, make sure to be active because we'll be doing a chat and win in about 30 minutes. Uh, and after that, we'll be choosing some portfolios to review, specifically Okay, we'll be reviewing portfolios, which is an honor. Oh, Please submit. I'm so excited to see your stuff. Yeah. It's been really impressive it's so far. It's an honor for me, too. Uh -huh. Cool. It, it takes big guts to show your portfolio. Yeah. So. Big guts. Yeah, big guts. <laughs> if, you get, if you get over that, you can, you, can you do know, anything. You can do anything. Mm -hmm. But this is what we started out with on the first day, mm -hmm. just loose sketching, exploring our character, which is this goddess creature. DT. Yeah, super powerful. Super, super strong. And then mm -hmm. we started out, let me just turn off all of these. This is the best. Go through the layer game. I know, right? <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh like wait, that. wait, let me delete this then. <laughs> oh, it didn't do it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> but we did start off with um, this simple sketch I whipped mm -hmm. up in my hotel. Right. On a hotel memo pad. Yep, we showed it yesterday. And then we just started filling in some atmosphere for her and filling in those parts to her. Beautiful color, even though the whole piece is kind of desaturated. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try and punch those out today. Mm -hmm. So right now I want to bring out um, the character detail a bit more. So I'm going to do that Okay. with some more detail. So going back to your uh, pencil brush. I'm going back to Kyle's awesome pencil brush. Perfect. And I'm just going to go in there and put in some eyeballs. <laughs> nice. So even for the she details. Yeah. Or does she? Maybe she's all knowing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. What do you guys think? She could have a third eye, six eyes, who knows. But I was gonna say, even for adding details, you still stay pretty zoomed out, it seems. I do, okay, now. let's zoom in a tiny bit more. Okay. Do you like it zoomed, Kat? Yes. I'll zoom it in just for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then add these details. Make sure my opacity is all good. Yeah, so you're using like a dark value from something that's already in the painting. Yeah. Not just a stark black. Yeah, so this one, I'm approaching it just like a drawing because of, you know, for this format's sake. Mm -hmm. But if we had all time, we could go even more with, um, you know, spend more time with values and things like that. But this does the trick just fine. All right. It's a nice stylized version. Yeah, Kyle says, great arrangement of the figures. Thanks, Kyle. I'm glad you like it. That means a lot from you. Mm -hmm. Definitely. She's like, mm, I could do one or I could do three. <laughs> Why not do three? <laughs> Why not do three on a live stream? Where... For all you. <laughs> Why not get crazy? Because yeah. that's what it's all about, pushing yourself I like to it. uncomfortable you know, levels. Yeah, that, you've got that's... big guts. <laughs> 
Um, Thanks, Kat. No prob. So somebody said, I think it was Joanna, said for anyone wondering, Kay is as nice in person as she seems. Briefly met her during school as in London this year, completely freaked out. Oh man, Aww. so nice to hear from you. That's so that, sweet. That was such a great event. Yeah, when was that? That was just a couple months ago. Cool. Yeah. Man, you're world travelers. I, yeah, I can't, I, I'm, it's totally a blur right now. Yeah. Especially <laughs> after Comic Con. Yeah. I'm still getting out of it. I got a mushy brain. <laughs> it makes sense. Ooh, we have a question from Ren, who is going to be hosting Nathan um, after the Daily Creative Challenge, which we'll talk about in a bit. But Ren is wondering, what does your setup at home look like? Your your studio setup that you work from. In terms of like my yeah, space? Yeah, like hardware and what do you have on your my desk? My hardware? Mm. Oh, I'm very simple. Right. I'll just have this Cintiq. Is it this size? It's this size, actually. Nice. And then I'll have like a little drawing table beside me. I share a room with um, our other artist, Ms. Seiseki. Oh, cool. So I'm not lonely. I used to share a room with Bobby, but right now he does a lot of um, recordings. Oh. So back when we did share a room, it was kind of tricky, like kind of getting in there and not making a noise. Mm -hmm. so, so this way I can hang out and chat with my buddy Masse. Yeah. And Masse's also a digital painter. Masse's a digital painter. She's a great artist as well. Yeah, I'm showing she her work. She just released her new book called um, Kin, and it's all about families. Oh, I love that. It's super, super touching and inspiring. You guys should check it out. And she also worked on a new film with Bobby for Netflix coming this December. Oh? Yes. And starring um, Kurt Russell. What? <laughs> <laughs> is it animated? It a is a mix. Okay. So, That's yeah. all I'll ask. No. Oh, wait. <laughs> no. Cannot tell. I couldn't say anything about that. <laughs> well, you're, you're just going to see. Okay. But it is, it is going to come in Netflix. Uh oh. Bobby's giving me the <laughs> holy shit. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> only for you guys. Yeah. Can we edit this Sneak out peek. Later? <laughs> well, we have a bleep button. Okay. Just kidding, we don't. But for your. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, there may or may not be info about it on the Imaginism Studios. No, website. there's none. There's none. <laughs> You're getting the real deal here. I'm uh, sorry. I'm going to stop talking okay. now and just going to paint. Well, I will say that Joanna, who met you at Schoolism London, says, I encourage everyone to be brave and go up to the people you admire and just say hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you never know what's going to come out of it. Yeah. And That's true. So just, how do you feel about people that are, like, big celebrities? Like, if you went to a concert for a band that you loved, would you want to meet them afterwards? Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes depending on um, the vibe. But yeah, concerts, like musicians, mm -hmm. heck yeah. Some artists, yeah, for sure. Some artists. Celebrities, <laughs> celebrities, not so like, not. you know, gung-ho and maybe some of them. Like I'd love to meet like Bear Grylls, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cause he's super like inspiring. Right. Maybe some directors mm -hmm. and like a few, um, I don't know, actors and actresses. But yeah. you never know, because they're That's actors true. and actresses. So they're, just they're really good at um, <laughs> acting. <laughs> putting on a persona that, yeah. you know, and hiding their true selves, which is, you know, totally understandable. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'm totally more interested in creative people, like mm. directors and Gotcha. I've always musicians. kind of been under the under the impression of if I went up to someone that was like a big celebrity and I just like liked their music or their movies or something. I just feel like I would have nothing, nothing in super important to talk to them about. I'd right. just be like, I like your work, and they'd be like, All right, blur in the crowd that I'm never gonna remember. Like I don't know. So the trick is to come up with something that you can have something common about uh -huh. to talk to them yeah, about. That's true. Like, I don't know. I always go back to like life stuff. Okay. Like, like I have the similar experience that you <laughs> did, or something like that. Yeah. Or like, what grinds your gears nowadays? <laughs> uh huh. Do you know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> Jelly beans. No, no. Jelly beans. They get in uh. your teeth and they rarely taste good. Don't uh. at me. <laughs> I don't need those jelly beans. It's okay if you like jelly beans. No. Just a thing I've been thinking about. I haven't had a good jelly bean in a while. <laughs> no. Actually. Okay. Yeah. I, 
I do, I do love the dark chocolate. Okay, not a jelly bean, just a dark chocolate. <laughs> I do too, actually. Yeah? It's really nice. Oh, Tim does not like jelly beans either. My man, my man Tim. So this is probably a great opportunity to let you all know that in 20 minutes, we're gonna be doing our chat and win, which if you are new, it's basically an invitation for you to get into the chat, say hello, ask questions. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go to behance.net slash live. That's where you could be watching this from. And if you're logged in, or if you wanna make an account really quick, you can then chat in our chat pod. So I can show you on my screen really quick what that looks like. You're on the website. This is like Inception, this is us, Ooh. mini us in the corner. And then over here is the chat, and I can say, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? Um, oh my gosh, Inception of Inceptions of Inception. <laughs> what's your favorite movie right now? What's your favorite movie right now? Log in, say something in chat, and we'll be actually giving away this awesome poster by Dan Mumford. He created it with one of our mobile apps, Adobe Illustrator Draw. It's really awesome and free if you've never tried it. You can make beautiful things like this. There's also Sketch. Super cool. Yeah, so this is beautiful and it will belong to one of you in about 20 minutes. We'll send it to you for free. Just Look as a that. thank you for Just being around. Just answering a simple question like that gets you something cool. Totally. So that was not the question. We will ask you another oh, question in about nice. 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm just giving away stuff. Yeah, you're like, here you go, and here you go. But yeah, yesterday we did give away your print of this. That hasn't even know. been born yet. No. It's not even done. No. Thanks for uh, trusting in that, mm -hmm. you guys. Yeah, I think Heather won yesterday. Congrats, Heather. And after you will like it. Yeah. I think she definitely will. I need to get one of those Kashi the Unicorn prints. Oh gosh, that have one. have to show him. That one looks so cool. It's so cute. Love Bobby it. did such a great job mm -hmm. in such a short time. Agreed. It's a lot to live up to. Yep. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> um, and then in about, <laughs> yeah, in about an hour, 50 minutes or so, we're going to be reviewing two portfolios. So hopefully you all in chat are creative people who have some creative work to show Kay and I, but Please. mostly uh, Kay. And we'll pick two and just go over some of your projects, go over your contact info and make sure that everything is really readable, um, give you some good feedback on how you can strengthen it, and also just give you some props because you have to be really brave to show your work. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Putting it out there. Yeah, nothing more putting it out there than doing a live stream with people watching you. <laughs> but it's fun, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> really? Uh, so Kat, you, yeah. you're an artist yourself, right? I am. So what kind of things like get you inspired? Mm. Like what, mm. what kind of things get you drawing and creating right now? Yeah. I love finding inspiration from things that aren't specifically visual art. Yeah. So I'm really inspired by like vintage clothing, mm. the patterns, specifically vintage graphic tees, which is like, I know that is visual art, but there's something about something that's supposed to live on a t-shirt. Something snarky about it, cheeky about it. I like it. Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. Right. And I think just the world. The, the people world. Yeah, now, yeah. Are inspiring. Definitely. And I also just scroll through Instagram. That's, hours. That is a great <laughs> source of inspiration. It's for great, sure. but then you realize it's like three years later and you're like, I've been scrolling you, <laughs> forever. <laughs> Where did my day go? Where did right. my life go? Mm -hmm. Danny says, I like any bad horror thriller movie from 2004 to 2010. Oh man, which is horror. weird and specific. It was funny. I was just like listening to this. Um, these horror stories on YouTube last night. I just stumbled upon really? it. And it's like story horror stories from like the mall, from like <laughs> security guards. Wait, uh, <laughs> is it a specific YouTuber? No, YouTuber? it was just okay, on just like the popular, yeah. um, the popular channel. Uh -huh. I, just I just let it play. Right, I bet you see some weird stuff. A security guard. Oh, it was creepy. <laughs> but I haven't seen a scary movie in a while. Mm. 
Yeah, no yeah. horror films for me right now. Sci-fi, yes. Yeah. Yeah, super duper into sci-fi and and mm. positive stuff right now. Right. <laughs> okay, so you're just not really feeling the negative, <laughs> spooky. No, unless it's by Guillermo del Toro, because mm -hmm. his, you know, his horror films are just beautiful yeah, to watch. Yeah, it's a spectacle. It's just like oozing, you know, design and yeah, world building. Yeah, mystery. Yeah, all that good stuff. Amazing. I think the last scary quote unquote movie I saw was the one where they can't talk. What's that yeah, called? Which one's that? Mm, silence. Sound of a quiet place. Oh my god, I haven't seen that. Yeah. I've heard such great things. It was that, lovely. I would totally want to see that. I enjoyed it. But uh, I actually found a horror movie hack recently. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to watch scary movies, but you still want to know, like, what's this all about? Like, is the plot actually good? Mm -hmm. There's a series on YouTube called, like, Everything Wrong with Blank in Under Six Minutes. It's like everything wrong with the ring I in under six seen, minutes. Yeah, yeah, those are funny. So it like shows you all the scary stuff, but it's like making fun of it the whole time. Those are hilarious. Yeah, it's like I never want to watch The Babadook, but I really want to know what it's about. I'm going to watch this video. That's Still a good scared. way of like watching it without watching the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Philippe says Guillermo del Toro also lives in Toronto. He does. He has a place there and yeah. he shoots a lot of his films there. Maybe an extra? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Hopefully. Guillermo. Hopefully in the future, maybe. I don't know. Could be. But uh, a friend of ours, this amazing artist, Natalie. Um, ah, God. Hall. Oh, I Thanks. know Natalie. Natalie I mean, Hall. Not personally, but yeah. <laughs> she came to Toronto because she was working on um, Shape of Water. <laughs> you have like a cue card in the I back, do, in I the do. shape of a body. It's kind of tricky, like <laughs> painting and remembering like, I, what the heck. I'm but, not even painting and I have a hard time <laughs> pulling yeah. anything out of my brain. So she uh, spent some time in Toronto designing mm -hmm. for him and it seemed like a great time. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know she worked on that. Oh yeah. She's Amazing. Killer. She's mm -hmm. so good. Amazing tattoo artist. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Or I guess designer, I guess you would say. Yeah. And uh, that, beyond that, Nat's a cool, cool, cool cat. cat. Another cool cat. Another cool cat. Love it. Uh, Ash says, the last scary movie I watched was It, the new rendition <gasps> of It. Bobby loves It. Me too. <laughs> I love the book. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> it was so scary. Was it? You tell me, Chad. I thought it was. <laughs> Did you see it? I saw parts. Mm -hmm. I, Between things. Yeah. <laughs> like, on the plane is where I like to watch movies. They showed it on the plane? That'd be so scary. Yeah, or would totally. It? it was on the plane. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I love to do on the plane is watch movies without sound. What? Yeah. With yeah. subtitles? With no subtitles. You just watch them. Just watch it. And if it reads well, that's when you know it's a great movie. Okay. <laughs> That's what I do. So you tried it out and you're like, nah. No, it out. holds up. Okay, cool. It's good. It's mm. great. It's a great right. coming of age story. Yeah. That's scary. <laughs> it really is good. It's well um, well told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eric says, I don't like scary stuff. I, I trust that. I respect that, Eric. Y yeah. If you don't dig it, you don't need to. Don't need to spend time with it. True. Ooh, this is a great question from Jamie in chat. Definitely want to remind you to ask your last questions during the stream because this is the last stream we're going to have with Kay. Hmm. For now. <laughs> For now. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, Jamie is wondering, if you were asked to come up with a character on the spot, yeah. what would be the first thing that you would consider? Would it be like the personality, the silhouette, the clothes, the story? For me, I'd take that all into... All of it. All of it. <laughs> all at once into mind. And then I'll start with something simple, which would be the silhouette. But I'd have the personality I'd want to convey in the back of my head, in my back, back of my mind. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but I'll, I'll do more digging. Like, what is this character's um, agenda? What is its purpose? What does it like? What is it... Um, yeah, what is it like to do? 
what is it, its main goal yeah. is usually driving force. the driving force. And then uh, slowly add things to like support that, you know, description, that idea. Like whether, like if he's, like for instance, this goddess, she has all this armor, right. this deity. And the, the design is kind of coming from like that South East Asian kind of mm -hmm. vibe. You could say there's a bit of like Indian influence as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all these things that I am, I'm interested in and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what makes her up. That's what makes her up. Yeah. Um, I just actually glanced over like at your real screen and I was like, whoa, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> it's just really coming together. Oh, thanks, Kat. Yeah. I'm just adding on these bits of um, details here and there. Mm -hmm. Slowly, slowly but slowly surely. Slowly but surely. We have a question from Eric in the chat. Adobe yeah. Live, are you one person or a bunch of people or a robot? I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so uh, Kyle responded, says Adobe Live comes together with a lot of work by several talented and wonderful people. Um, totally agree. And the person behind the actual Adobe Live username is a real person, but he's also a robot, and his name is Gus. GusBot3000. Gus is the best bot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yeah. <laughs> so he's real. He's sitting in the back of the studio behind a huge computer where he types and talks to you all day long. What he's, else? Gus is on it. Mm -hmm. he's amazing. Go Gus. Yeah, Danny knows Gus. Kyle says, I'm a Gus fan. He's the glue that holds us all together. Shauna says, Gus, is, everyone's coming out of the woodwork. Oh, you're like, Gus is pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> They want a face reveal. Gus so popular. Yeah, I bet if you searched around, you could find a face reveal of Gus, the <sighs> robot. <laughs> Maybe on Bobby's Instagram. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yes, maybe not. Oh, it's Gus, the guy on Slack. Exactly, Eric. Good point. <laughs> what else is going on in the chat? Everyone's talking about Gus. Um, People talking about fishing because a lot of people know Gus is a big fisherman. That's what he's he's known for. Oh, I've never <laughs> heard of a robot that fishes. Right? That's very special. How does this work? Are you a boat? That's really special. That's Gus. really special. <laughs> yeah, Tim is a robot. I cannot confirm or deny that because I've never met Tim in real life. I'm I'm leaning towards a robot though. <sighs> Oh, actually, someone had a really good question, and I totally forgot to ask you. Oh, it's a question. Uh, this is by Marco, uh -huh. and he's wondering what kind of jobs are actually most suitable for a character designer. There's so many. Yeah? Um, well, the main one would be for movies or TV mm -hmm. or children's books. Right. Or there's so many. Anything that um, has a story or has an adventure, yeah. you know? Right. What else? Um, commercials? Yeah. Right? Like someone had to design that Geico I lizard. I was just gonna say the Geico lizard. <laughs> we are so in tune. Yeah, he's the one. He's the iconic commercial guy. <laughs> um, he's and very memorable. He super is. Yeah, and that's a great sign of a good con uh, character design. Yeah, definitely. And the second half of Marco's question was, um, what are the key skills to a great character designer that is similar to being a children's book illustrator, which you kind of touched on? That are similar to being a... Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I would say one of the biggest skills that you can definitely hone into is um, deciphering, like mind reading. Oh, <laughs> all right, get into a little bit of ESP in here. Mind reading uh, in terms of like what your client or yes. your director really wants because mm -hmm. sometimes it could come out of a very abstract place yeah. and then you're there to, um, you know, problem solve what they, they're they looking for. Right. And, and try to find that balance between their ideas and your, you know, your artistic kind of 
myself. Yeah, <laughs> no, I totally agree. And I think it's also mind reading in the idea that you're creating this character to be portrayed to like a specific audience uh -huh. and what aspects of that character design are going to speak to that audience in kind of like a visceral and emotional way. Yes. Not just like the shorts he wears or the white gloves he wears or the big ears he has. I'm talking about Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> How he actually connects in an empathetic way. Crazy. Ooh, Veronica, great question. What is this chat and win countdown? We will be giving away this beautiful print by Dan Mumford in about three and a half minutes. I was created with an Adobe mobile app called Adobe Illustrator Draw. Really beautiful. Ta da! So nice. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to ask you to get in the chat and be active, ask questions. We'll probably ask you a specific question that you can answer. We'll play a little video so you'll know that we're about to start and then you'll have one minute to say something. So if you haven't said anything yet, it's a great time to just say like, hey, my name's uh, Crab and this is my first time watching Adobe Live. That's all it takes. How'd you get your name, Crab? <laughs> I saw someone in the chat named Sebastian and I was like, Sebastian, Crab, Little Mermaid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is he in love? No, he's a crab. I love Crab. I think that's my favorite. The food? Yeah, favorite food. <laughs> One of my favorite foods. I love it too. We went there. We just <laughs> went really random. You know this really beloved character that's a crab? I would love to eat him. Yeah. <laughs> Looks delicious. <laughs> Lil Sebastian, that's true. Little pony. Right, so you don't have to be active yet in chat, although we're appreciating it. In two and a half minutes, do our chat and win. <laughs> Robin says crab is delicious. <laughs> I agree. It's a and it's a experience. It's like an experiential food. Got to work for it, especially if you catch it yourself. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a lot of hard work before you like get some meat. True. <laughs> Very true. Ooh, Mark, that's awesome. He says this illustration is really coming along nicely. Good morning from Hawaii. Good morning. Yes, aloha. Aloha. Welcome. Man, you're so lucky you live in paradise. Yeah, what's that like, Mark? <laughs> Tell us about but it, I hope Mark. everything's good now, you know, and that you're away from all that um, mm -hmm. volcanic activity. Volcanic activities. That was crazy. Mm -mm. What time did everybody wake up? That's a great question, Quan. What time did you wake up? I woke up at 7, maybe 6.50-ish. Okay. Ish. Did you eat one single hard-boiled egg in I one bite? I did, Kat. I did. <laughs> yeah. How do I know you so well it already? Was yum. <laughs> uh, let us know, chat. When did you wake up? What's your normal wake-up time? Are you a you a morning person? A late night person? I woke up at pretty much the same time. You did? Like six forty. Oh, that's that's a that's a good time. Yeah. Is it? It's a good time. <laughs> Exploring. Fun for who? Good for who? Yeah. <laughs> Certainly not me. Bright and early. That's uh, the key to it everything. Is. I just wish it didn't hurt so bad. Oh, you know? I know. <laughs> we'll catch up on sleep later, right? There's always time. Mm. No, there's no time. <laughs> no. Sleep is for the dead. Yeah. Linda says, I worked until 3 and woke up at 9. Whoa. Whoa, Linda. you go, girl. Yeah. yeah, get that sleep, though. It's important. Uh, Mark says, I try to wake up at 6.30 a.m. and do a quick 30 to 60 minutes of art or sketching. Very good. Yeah. It's like your uh, artistic breakfast. Yes. Got to start the day. That's good to hear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Joshua is wondering if we can hear the music. Do you hear any music? Do I hear music? No. What's the music? What is it? I hear the air conditioner. I hear Kay tapping on the screen. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> I hear the sound of my own voice all too often. <laughs> so no, only you guys can hear the music. It is purely silent in the studio. I wish I could hear some music. Do you like to listen to music when you work out? It depends what kind of work I'm doing. If I'm in my like developmental stage, mm -hmm where I'm really like designing the composition. Uh, I can't listen to music with lyrics. Oh. It has to just be like atmospheric or classical. Yeah. 
But then once I get into the nitty gritty where it's like you have your stuff masked in and you're just kind of painting, uh -huh. then I'll listen to music. Also podcasts. Yeah. I love podcasts too. Bobby got me into podcasts. Yeah? What's yes. your What's your favorite type? Um, well, right now we're totally into the motivational stuff, like things that will enrich your mind mm -hmm. and your soul and your work ethic yeah. and all that good stuff. Right. So Once like, in a while, Joe Rogan. Yeah, the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I heard that one. He's there. Fun. He's there. Um, so is, do you specifically listen to creative motivational ones or is it just kind of like life in general motivation? Right now it's been life in general mm -hmm. motivation. There are some good creative ones. Um, yeah. There are these two animators, um, Tom, Tony Bancroft, the, the twins, Tom and Tony Bancroft. The, ba the Bancroft brothers. He's busy chatting in the chat pod. <laughs> yes. yes. I believe you, though. And they interview a lot of great artists and directors and all that good stuff. So that one's more geared towards animation. Sweet. I like that. And there, of course, there's Bobby's chat. Yes. That's always really good. Um, what else? What else? But I do love listening to a lot of music. Yeah. While I paint. Favorite genres? Favorite genres. Oh, what's on my playlist right now? It's yep. it's a mix. Like I go from like hip hop to like um you know, tech or mm -hmm. like soundtracks are my favorite. Yes, OSTs. Love yes. it. Like right now I love listening to the Westworld soundtrack. Oh nice. That's really interesting. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It's it's really good. Like second season. Specifically? Specifically. <laughs> Second season. Nice. So this is actually a great segue into uh, our chat and win. We're going to play a little video, but first, see some fireworks behind us? Awesome. If you don't know what we're talking about, we're going to be giving away this beautiful poster by Dan Mumford. It was created with Adobe Illustrator Draw, which is a mobile app. A free one, so you should check it out. But we'll be giving away this print for one of you, and all you have to do after our video is be active in chat. So I want to ask them what their favorite music to work to is. Mm. So what after, is yeah, after the little video, let us know. Okay, we'll be back. Welcome back, everybody. So this is the time for you to let us know what your favorite music to work to is. We were having kind of a interstitial music break during yes. that video. <laughs> so you have a minute. Let us know. Uh, Karina says a lot of Japanese pop. Oh. Korean music. I'm really into K-pop at the moment. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. Not at the moment. I should say just in general. <laughs> I wish I was into K-pop. I don't know much about K-pop right now. Yeah. It's just very... I need to be more around people that like K-pop. It's so good. Yeah. It's such a good bop to jam to. All of it. Uh, Brit says, sometimes folk music. Nagar likes Radiohead. Oh, I love Radiohead as well. Oh, yeah. Heck mm -hmm. yeah, Radiohead. Oh, we have a winner. Congratulations, Linda Friday. What a cool name, Linda. I know. I love that. You sound like a a professional wrestler, maybe? That's pretty cool, maybe? Linda Friday. Or like a radio personality. Anyways, you have just won this beautiful print by Dan Mumford. Congrats, Linda. Congrats, Linda. Woohoo. That's so, a great print to have. Yeah, and it's like you hear that? That's it's good. Nice. That's a sign of good quality <laughs> print. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> okay. I'm done. <laughs> but Adobe Live will be in contact with you uh, via your Behance messages, Linda. So check that out. Oh, the lighting. It's really coming in. Did we yeah. decide how it was going to be? Not yet. I was just about to get to that part. I was just um, building up these background kind of cave-like mm -hmm. feeling rocks. Awesome. And what uh, brush are you using? This one is Kyle's Pink Box Streaker. The Streaker. The Streaker. It's naughty. <laughs> yeah, it's Kyle, naughty. 
nice with a naughty, naughty brush. Uh, Kyle says, with a few brush strokes and a darker value in the background, those figures suddenly pop and so much depth is instantly added. Thanks, Brilliant. Kyle. Um, not there yet, but you'll see. You'll we'll see. see. You'll all see. <laughs> but this is looking good so far, and right now it feels like a good time to merge our character. <gasps> Whoa. So I'm gonna put them all in a group. And I'm gonna keep that just in case. Okay, good. I was like, we need to do it, Kate. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I merged all of them. And a quick trick. Let's just pump them out a tiny bit more. Saves my life. Oh right? my gosh. I just did this with an illustration. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's why Photoshop is the best. Thanks, Adobe. Appreciate you. So you merged all your layers because why? I want to just keep them, I just want to um, group them all together mm -hmm. and then do my final like uh, levels and value effects and mm -hmm. lighting effects all in one. But it is popping out nicely right now and yeah. I, I do like that. Me too. So I, it's just time, time to merge them all into one. Yeah. And take the leap. Take that leap. I'm going to tweak in some... Colors. Ooh. These are all things that we've covered in the Adobe uh, Daily Creative Challenge, the Photoshop one, in the last two days. So yeah. it's super cool that you're actually showing it in action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love doing this stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just pop on some light coloring, right? I, and then put in your values. Bingo, bango. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So what do you guys think? Right now, that was the original one was greener, mm -hmm. and this one has more of a bluish, purplish tinge. Right. Which is kind of neat. I love it. Do you like that one, Kat? It looks more like um, it's actually living in the space. Yeah. The green one's kind of like, it almost looks like there's a green filter over everything. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go with that, because Kat has good advice. Because I said so. Oh, thanks. I like that, Kat. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Cat combo. Kit Kat combo snack. Kit Kat combo. Ooh, ooh, sounds good. All right, for their <laughs> eyes, what do you guys think? Should I leave them <clears throat> very omnipotent and like glowy looking, mm -hmm. or should I fill them up with these darker like eyes? A little more ominous. Ominous. Spooky, Spooky eyes. Okay, so dark or glowing? Is that the question? Yes. Mm. Let's see how the glowing looks like on one of them. Good idea. That's why you made three, so you can just try <laughs> out different stuff. Mm. I have my thoughts, but I'm gonna wait for chat to let us know theirs. What would it be? What could it be? A lot of people are saying glowy. We've got Linda says dark. Linda says dark. Mm -hmm. The only dark so far. And spoiler alert, Linda, I'm on your team. I think they should be dark. But everyone else is glowy. Oh, dear. <laughs> Maybe they could all have different glowy eyes. <laughs> Let's please everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mike says a variety might be cool. A variety, right? Because mm -hmm. they all have their own powers. Maybe. Mm -hmm. And this facets. is probably like the leader. Yeah. <laughs> Mysterious. <laughs> Adobe Live says dark with glowy swords with lightsabers. <clears throat> Here's my thought about dark. Okay. Is if you look at the piece totally mm -hmm. and you add those little pieces of glow. Yeah. It hmm. Okay, okay, if you okay. keep let me let me rephrase. If you keep them dark, to me it <gasps> keeps the figure um separated from the viewer, like they're this crazy, omnipotent, just like otherworldly and incomprehensible creature. Yeah. And if you add the glow, for some reason it feels more like, oh, I get this, like it's it's alive and it's active. I don't know. Oh, and it's awake. Yeah, right. I just, with the darkness, it feels much more like Leviathan-esque. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one girl dark. Okay. Just for you, Kat. You don't have to do that, but if you want to, I appreciate it. <laughs> because she seems like she's the more, more powerful one. She's the leader. Mm. Okay. <laughs> cool. Mike says, I feel that. Yeah, you feel that, Mike? <laughs> okay. Because this is, this is our collabo. Is All it? of you guys. Yeah, that's true. All of us. Mm-hmm. 
And it's very special because I've never done anything like this collabo. Yeah. Oh, good point, Tim. He says, but the glow is a point of interest, especially since the painting is pretty dark overall. Mm-hmm. That is a good point. Yeah. As a like tenant of design and art, I agree with you, Tim. But for some reason, when she added the brightness of the eyes, it became less like s scary or powerful to me. I'm not sure why. Oh, I see. I guess there's more mystery mm -hmm. to the dark eyes. Yeah. Okay. In so many I words, do yes. Like that. <laughs> I do kind of like that. Okay, let's let's darken just a tiny bit. Right? Cool. You can always add the glow at the end. Once we're not live together, you can be like, and screw you can what she it. said. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just adding it. No, not screw. <laughs> no. <laughs> people not are noticing. Not me. Um, people are noticing that there are more arms than there are figures. Yes. It's an extra she's, set. She's a multi, you know, multi-dimensional, multi. She multiplies her arms. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> She's multi. She's a multitasker. She is the best multitasker. <laughs> the best multitasker. <laughs> oh, that's a great question, Mike. He's wondering: Is it a friend or foe? That oh. might change our decisions. Or a guardian. Or a guardian guarding something else against Guardings. the adventurer. Right. I'm gonna punch this up a tiny bit more. Actually, no. That looks good. I'm gonna play with the value and make it into adjustment layer mm -hmm. and bring in some nice brights. Right. There. She's glowing. She's glowing right now. Mm -hmm. She almost looks like she's made of marble or like jade, like some sort of glowing and stone. Make this a little bit warmer, yellower. Just a little bit yellower and warmer. And you could spend so much time doing like these adjustment layers, yes. right? It, you could, like, eternity, almost. Yeah. How do you and stop? Hide that. <laughs> oh. Where'd it go? And then we're gonna make another one, and then we're gonna put that one. It's our darkest darks. Okay. How dark can we go with that? Darkest darks, lightest light. Lightest light, darkest darks. Whoa. Yeah, I kind of like that. Now she's almost like iridescent. Ooh, I like, I love iridescence. Mm -hmm. So on trend mm. these days. <laughs> Lessen that contrast a bit. And then maybe, maybe. Whoa. Put it more. That really changes things. Right? A tiny bit. Wow, this just keeps transforming. It's like it's <laughs> molting over and over again. <laughs> Whoa. Now it's purpley. Mm hmm Now that's really red. I feel like there is a goddess that has multiple arms that is purple. Let me look it up. Let me Google goddess with multiple arms that is purple. See what happens. Yes, please. Okay. So let's Maybe start. Maybe not. <laughs> the dark values. Oh, maybe Kali, but maybe she's blue. Shiva. Shiva. Nice. I know Shiva. She was always my favorite summon in Final Fantasy VII. Yeah? <laughs> yes. That's where I was first introduced to her. Shiva. That's a good name, too. It it's is. Like you, you definitely would fear a, you know, a person oh, yeah. named Shiva. Mm -hmm. Powerful. All right. It's popping out a tiny bit more. Oh, Kyle, that's such a great point. He says, one of the problems with having artists like Kay and Bobby, et cetera, on these live streams is that they give the viewers a false impression of that this is a normal speed for creating beautiful work. <laughs> <laughs> You're too dang fast. <laughs> slow it down. No. <laughs> I felt I was slow, actually, after no. like seeing Nathan's stream oh, man. and Bobby's stream. No, you're right? all ripping it. Sonic the Hedgehogs. You are going fast. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Mm -hmm. But it is different um, going into, you know, a new kind of like layout. Yeah. Because usually back back in our studio, we'll have our um, 
our stamp tools, our you know, our brushes, the custom brushes. Yeah, it's even faster. It could get really fast. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we've we've totally picked those up from our a lot of, a lot of our artist friends, like David Levy. Mm. He's just the killer with his brushes. It's just building that like um, that library of your own custom brushes. Yeah, you know, just like how Kyle does. Right. And so when you see a piece, you're like, I can tell that's done by Kyle. Or I yeah. can tell it's done by David. It's a signature look. Mm -hmm. Those, the brushes that you use. Very cool. Uh, someone made a great point. Oh yeah, Kyle said it takes many, many years and thousands of hours of drawings to get here. It's amazing. That's true. So people might see this and be like, well, I can never draw because I could never do this. Well, it's not true. Nope, just takes time. Just takes a bit of effort. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm punching them out a tiny bit more. So what do you guys think? Should I put the lighting coming from below? Because we could still do that. Mm -hmm. Or coming from above. It is looking like it is coming from above. It, there's this like nice soft glow. Yeah, like it's almost them. in a cavern and some opening at the top is glowing down. Right? I dig that. <laughs> I dig that. I think we can merge this sucker. <gasps> Brave. We can merge that sucker. <laughs> so Chad, I'll let you decide about the lighting. Cause I give my, my two cents about the eyes. Yeah. And that's all the power I need for today. <laughs> <laughs> more power cat. No, no, I don't need any more. I'm too OP. <laughs> too overpowered. <laughs> need to nerf me quick. <laughs> uh, Mike says like a glowing river below. That could be cool. Ooh, that does sound good. Okay, Mike. Okay, Mike. I'll take that into consideration. <laughs> Christoph says that they have a lot of respect for you because they simply block it out when people watch them work. Love the colors. <laughs> it can be you block it scary. Out? Like, it just pretends like it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the stream isn't yeah. happening? It is nice that we can't actually see all of you. Yeah, yeah, it is different. There is a live studio audience, but it's comprised of three people. Yeah. That aren't looking at they're us. Very <laughs> they're very chill. They're all looking chill. at their screens. They're doing their own thing. I guess Paco's looking at us constantly. <laughs> What's up, Noah? Thanks for being here. Appreciate Hi, it. Noah. It says yeah. hello from Israel. My girl, Noah. Cool. She took us on this amazing um, journey what? to Tel Aviv. She took us to the Dead Sea. What? She took us to Old Jerusalem. Uh, what? Yeah. Noah. Yeah. You sound She's awesome. She's amazing. <laughs> so cool. Thanks for being here. But she holds uh, an event in Tel Aviv called the Work Wonder Art, Art House Workshop. Did I get that right? Noah, you let us know. <laughs> Don't hate me, Noah! <laughs> but it's like this blue butterfly as, as their logo. Cool. So go check it out if you're in Tel Aviv. It's definitely a, a very cool place to visit. Their mm. beaches are impeccable. Ooh, ooh, impeccable. Impeccable, very clean, very pristine, wow. clear. I'd love to visit. We were swimming and there were nothing but fishies. I love that. Yeah. Fish our friend. Fish our friend. <laughs> uh, Wonder Art House. Wonder Art House. Yes. Great. Thank you, Noah. Yeah, it seems like Tel Aviv might have a couple of cool creative conferences. I know Off has a chapter there. Off is an awesome kind of creative conference. Off. 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 With three Fs. That's where I met Percy. Oh, Jen. really? Yes. I've never met Percy yet in person. Percy, you here? Hopefully, hopefully in the future. Always trying to conjure his him. His stuff is wicked at bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally agree. Noah says, I'm trying to pass on what you guys taught me. I miss ya. I miss ya too, Noah. It's <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna set this to overlay. Wow. Just get a bit of tinge there. Go a little in. bit of dusky tinge. A dusky tinge. Cave. How much time do we got left? Well, we have 10 minutes until we're gonna start doing our portfolio reviews. Okie dokie. And that will pretty much take us until the end. Cool, cool. 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, I'm feeling good about down. this. I'm just gonna add more of that overlay and put in 
in some more tinges. Mm, I love I this. Like. You're like layering glazes of color up. Right? Isn't that fun? I love it. It's like traditional painting. This is all about color this week, right? Color mm -hmm. and atmosphere. Awesome. Uh, Robbie says, hello from Louisville, Kentucky. What's up, Robbie? Hi, Robbie. <laughs> He's a web designer, but some of these streams have made him want to dive into drawing again. Oh, you should do, totally do that. Draw if you feel us. like you need to, you, you know, embrace that, mm -hmm. embrace that need and draw those go for things. It. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, Robbie says, I used to draw manga related stuff when I was younger. That's where a lot of us have gotten our starts, Robbie. <laughs> oh yeah. Myself included. Oh yeah. I used to do a lot of like Sailor Moon. Oh yeah, so much card captor. So, oh, card captor. I wanted to be yes. her so bad. I could totally see you <laughs> cosplaying as her. Yeah, Sakura. I wanted to get her little Hime haircut. I wanted to do it all. Oh, that'd be adorable on you, Kat. Would it? Please, <laughs> please know. make it a reality. 13 year old me is saying yes, please. Halloween, Halloween is oh the my time. No, nope. yeah, she had this cat costume that I was like, me, 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 me. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best. Gus the robot's shaking his head. Why? <laughs> no. Oh, is this it? Maybe. Paco's out of the room, so I can show whatever I want on the screen. <laughs> show it now, quickly. Isn't it cute? It's like a little pinafore. Oh. It's literally me. She's the coolest. Right? I agree. OK. Enough of that. Enough this of anime awesome. hour. Right? I remember taking it to school in fifth grade and like reading it during reading time. Uh -huh. I was like, I'm getting away with something. <laughs> I'm reading a comic book. <laughs> all into one group. Oopsie. Whoa, it's changed so much while I was talking about anime. Yay. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad there's some change. Um, and then I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna merge. Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I it? know what that, why that happened. Because it's you have because so many transparencies? Oh. It's that top layer, that multiplied layer. Uh-huh. Sometimes it does do that. So right. I'm just gonna keep that separate. It's so good. And then, That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. And then, what did I want to do with this? Let me just see if I can, because uh, it's getting a little bit mucky. Right. That's a, one of my biggest problems when making art is my values get super muddy. Like right. pretty much right off the bat. I'm just wading through a swamp of colors. I'm going to go to color, selective color, should I do that? No, I should just do this. Nice. Yellows. I'm just going to tone down those yellows a bit mm -hmm. and make them a bit more towards the orangey side. Awesome. And I am liking the vibe of this, this mysterious kind of look and seriously feel. oh my gosh i still seriously cannot believe the saturation and colors you have in this piece even though it takes place in a super dark environment we want to bring some color and light to to things mm -hmm. even though they're in, in mysterious places yeah there's a twist to it right and we're reaching the end aren't we yes we are five we minutes are. five minutes mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna do a quick color dodge a quickity quickity, like. And what is this going to do this for you? This will brighten up. It will just add some magical touches to things. It will brighten up things that you want to punch out a bit more. Mm -hmm. And just add a bit more of that shine and sheen to. Yeah, it's just bumping up the saturation, bumping making things glow. Making it glow. <laughs> Edwin says, every day is a color dodge day. It is, right? <laughs> Who said that? It's color dodge is that time. A, is that a Ross draws? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that exactly. guy. 
That guy really pushed this medium. Color Dodge King. He is. Maybe uh, I'll put in. No. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That was the wrong one. What's up, Jan Eric? Thanks for being here. Uh, Noah, yes, this is Kay's last stream for the week. For the week here. Yeah. But it seems like she likes streaming, so maybe well, I love you guys. do it another time on her own if, or elsewise. Yes, otherwise. if you'll have me again, That'd I'd be love wonderful. to come back. What do you think, chat? Would you welcome her back with open digital arms? Um, I would, and it wouldn't um, be digital. It'd be real. Thanks, Kat. Mm -hmm. Anytime you, <laughs> you know, find your way in Toronto, Give us a call. I love Toronto. You've got new friends up north. Thanks. I saw the Lion King there when I was eight. Really? Yes. It's like my experience <laughs> with Toronto. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> I actually auditioned for that Lion King back in the day. Did you really? <laughs> to be what? A dancer? <laughs> to be like maybe Nala or, you know, but I was not of age. I would think I was like. But a otherwise, bit you would have gotten older. it. No. <laughs> I don't think so. I just like gave it a try, you know, for fun. That's incredible. So are you like a singer and a dancer? Heck no. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> You're like, I can do this. <laughs> That's yeah, incredible. That was in my performance days. It was totally fun. Nice. You, know? you learned a lot. You got, oh, totally. You met, I met some awesome people. Mm -hmm. It was a heck of a fun time. You know, just that vibe, performing and yeah. just entertainment. I love it. Right? Yeah. I mean, even just hosting Adobe Live, it's like, yeah, you I'm an artist, but I also so great like to talk hosting. about it. Thank you. You're fantastic. I wish I had your skill. I, you know, this. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. Uh, yeah, really. Thank you. Adobe Live, that is correct. We will be reviewing portfolios in three minutes. So hopefully you've all been sub, uh, submitting your work so that Kay and I can look it over for the next about 20-ish minutes. Uh, we'll be looking at two and just giving some feedback on your different projects, giving you some hype on your awesome skills, maybe giving you some ideas on how to even punch it up to the next level next time. And correct, if it is not selected this stream, you still have uh, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, the rest of the day. So Nathan will be streaming and Anna will be streaming. But before that, I'll just do this little plug before we hit our deadline. We will be doing our daily creative challenge at 12 p.m. So in 30 minutes, we'll be doing a 30 minute stream where we are going over today's um, daily creative challenge, which was to create a phone wallpaper. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I think there might be a link in the chat so that you will know how to register and get involved. Basically, it's a two week boot camp for beginners or people that just want to sharpen their Photoshop skills. That's so good. Yeah, and we'll be streaming every day. I'll be hosting it to go through the activity and answer your questions. Oh yeah, that's at 12 though. Got some time. See you later, Rusty. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Whoa, I some like glow. It. Some glow. What I is took this? I took his advice. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit, but I do like keeping her in the, the darkness. Yeah. Keeping her like the most mysterious, I guess, out of all of them. Yeah. And yeah. Which is cool because she's the one that's like really interacting with the subject, the adventurer. Totally. Right? It's awesome. Thanks, Kat. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh yeah, Katie, so true. She says, I love the size contrast of the goddess and the adventurer. Thanks. Thanks. I like, yeah, I love those contrasting um, sizes. Mm -hmm. Anything giant. Yeah, like Anything small. too big. It's great. I love when there are duos of characters and one is like super huge, one super tiny. Oh yeah. It's a good dynamic. Yeah. But there's just that feeling of like, oh. Something mm -hmm. big is there. Definitely. Reminds me of when I um, went diving on a, a cenote in in Mexico. What? And it's just like this big cave Can with like cave mineral diving? water at the bottom. And it's nothing but darkness when you dive in. Mm -hmm. 
So you do feel like something is creeping underneath. Oh my gosh. Like, but there's nothing there, supposedly. That's what they say. Supposedly. And, it, and a lot of those cenotes are sacred hmm. places and they're supposed to heal you and wow. things like that. But you know, it's it's been used quite a lot by tourists. And, mm -hmm. But perhaps there are some left that are untouched. Yeah. Um, With crazy things lying in wait. Crazy things <laughs> lurking underneath. That'd be amazing. Elise says, you have the coolest life. <laughs> She's been diving. She auditioned for the Lion King. You try to do stuff. <laughs> That's true. You only get one. <laughs> right? So and true. just lightening this up. Ooh, oh. I like this streak of light. Yeah. Hello, Color yeah. Dodge. Hello, Color Are Dodge. You? See? That's why Photoshop is awesome. And it's done. <laughs> oh, Oscar I says, I live I in Cancun. I love cenotes. You live nice. in Cancun. Yeah, I think Lucky. that's where we did it. That's where we totally did it. Amazing. So it is 1130, which means we will do portfolio reviews in just a moment. So Woo. I will let you um, wrap up what you're doing, and you let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I am almost there, Kat. OK. Oh, full there. <laughs> Just punching out those uh, edges, like creating that rim oh, light. Oh, yeah. Like in your um, reference of that guy surfing, he had the nice kind of highlights on his arms. Thanks. It's really cool. But you don't want to overdo those rim net lights, right? You just want to, they're just accents. Right. Where things kind of touch. I am still touch so light. amazed that you did this all basically 100% zoomed out the whole time. Oh. <laughs> that is so not then, my life. <laughs> well, it's meant to, you know, that's the quickest way you could do things. Mm -hmm. Zoom it all out, you know. Incredible. And just, and just go with it. Ooh, is this guy holding <gasps> like a lightsaber? Is or that Nico? a torch? <laughs> In the next season. In the next season <laughs> of Nico and the Sword of Light. He meets his mom, the goddess. The with goddess. Eight arms. <laughs> and she's like, what did you bring me this time? <laughs> what did you do? You got an what F in school. Do? Yeah, Bruno, I agree. The highlights are amazing. Thank you. It's all, it's all accents. I like to leave some of these um, swords in the oh, shadow. Wow. It's something for the eye to play with, but I feel like it's there. What do you think? Kat? I think so too. It's yeah? incredible. Yeah. Okay. And in what? It was five and a half hours or so of work time, maybe even a little less because I was talking to you literally the whole time. I love talking to you. Oh, thanks. It's easy. You, you're such a, a natural Great talker. Host. <laughs> Talk. uh, yeah, so about five hours or less Quan it took to make this illustration. But don't forget the thousands of hours that Kay has drawn and made things before then. Before this. Right. So are you ready to go to space so we can look Heck at some yeah. reviews? Let me save this. Yes, please save this. <laughs> oh my gosh, Linda would be so Or it goes like, oh no, I didn't save it. Mm -hmm. All right. Such is life. Okay, we're going to go to space. And Let's when go to space. we're back, we're going to look at some portfolios. walked all the way here. Wow, that was a great walk. <laughs> I love how this whole studio just like rocketed into space. Yeah. This is the coolest place ever. Man, I only threw up once. This is incredible. Oh, are you good now? Yeah, right? I'm good. I took my jam with me and I'm sweet now. That's good. <laughs> so welcome to the Adobe Live Space Station, which is where we do all of our portfolio reviews. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason. Uh, we got to see things at 10,000 miles, you know, see it from a bird's eye view. So we have two amazing portfolios we're going to look into. The first is Andre's. 
I'm going to take this off. Oops. Yeah, that's right. We have oxygen in the spacecraft. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's made by Adobe, so we only have the best. Only the best oxygen. Yeah. Orbital trajectory complete. Firing stabilizing thrusters. Systems nominal. Andre, are you ready? <laughs> so you can see on the screen there, or you can look here, mm -hmm. uh, but we notice that Andre is an illustrator and comic book artist from Portugal. Hi, Andre. Yeah, so I love ciao, looking. Ciao, Andre. Yeah, ciao, ciao. I love looking at like the contact info first and if they have all their links in order, yeah. even before diving into their work. So let's see what his About Me says. Super simple, I'm an illustrator and comic book artist with a love for drawing stories. Then give some ideas about what they work on. And if you think that he'd be a good fit for your project, this is how you can contact him. Awesome. I love that you're all about stories because that is what the world is about. Right? Sharing those stories. stories. Mm -hmm. Cool. Some work experience. Great to see. And then we have all of these awesome projects. So we can probably look at like two or three. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You let me know. Let's look at... I kind of was digging that, um, the top. This one right here. Oh, interesting. The okay. sea, seafaring. Ooh, that's wow. very nice. Yeah. So anatomy yeah. of an accident. Love the co the uh, composition in this. Your eye definitely goes to that wreckage yeah. where he is, and the style is neat. Like that ink. Exactly. Yeah, it looks like it could have been done traditionally. Mm -hmm. So this looks like it was for. Um, the Some anatomy of an accident. It's sort like of spread. Oh, it's like he's so close to land, I but know. then he just got squished by the water. Oops. It's like what what is he gonna do now? You wanna know a secret about me? It's not a secret. Yes, please. Um I love secrets. big waves are like one of my top three big biggest fears. Yeah. Uh, it's scary. Like even looking at this, I'm like, a little sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very powerful on <laughs> Until this this accomplishes that. Mm-hmm that feeling. Yeah, totally. Oh. So we get a little bit of context down here. This is for Canoe and Kayak magazine. And it's a story about Daniel Fox and his battle with the North Oregon waves to reach the shore. I hope he made it. Yeah, I hope so too. Let us know, Andre. Um, <laughs> about a day for the inks. About wow. a day for the inks. I could see that. Oh, so it was. It take a while. Yeah, it was really it's made traditionally. The ink at least. Yeah, this is beautiful. And then with the stars there, it, it does, you know, play into that energy. Mm -hmm. that right. I think it works well and, yeah. as a spread. Mm -hmm. I love the spread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really don't have much to critique. No, me too. On this no. first project. Nice job, oh, Andre. Great and job. Hopefully the magazine enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. All right, what else? It's a great body of work. Uh, that Volta at the top All looks right. great. Very nice. Mm -hmm, lots of movement. Very nice. I love how all those trees are like intertwining mm -hmm. and just like very dense. Right. Like he is about to go on an adventure, mm -hmm. a dark adventure, and hopefully he gets out of it. Yeah. And even though these <laughs> lines are so detailed, um, they don't really distract me. Like my eye doesn't go to all of this detail. It just kind of goes over it like a pattern, which mm -hmm. is awesome. And the, the choice of colors helps in, mm -hmm. you know, separating all of that detail. Yeah. So I guess maybe one question I have for you, Kay, is what do you think about this very representational color palette? Like, this looks like a, some sort of flesh tone, and this is really just brown for tree, and this is green for foliage. Right. Um, I feel? feel like it works for for this, mm -hmm. for what you're doing for this. This is like, um, it is a cover for yeah, it a looks story. Like it. Mm -hmm. it goes with that kind of comic book, like almost graphic kind of novel style. Right. Which works, you know, you could totally be very minimal, you know, you just want your trees in the background and then have that biker stand out. Mm -hmm. So for me, it works. And then the color of his skin definitely lets him stand out mm -hmm. out of that very natural kind of color scheme right. that you have in the background. Yeah. And it goes with the, the Volta, the, the title. Yeah, so. totally. I think this is super duper nitpicky because I'm just looking for something to critique. Yeah. Um, but this little area of light value, 
I'm just kind of wondering, like, why is that there? Oh, I see is what you mean. like the entrance of the path where the sun is hitting and he's yeah. going deeper. Uh, maybe this could be even darker. Darker, mm -hmm. yeah. You're right, Kat. Yeah. <clears throat> but it seems like he's getting most of his value just from the lines that mm -hmm. he's made. And the rest of these are, I prefer them. They're great them. drawings. Yeah, like look how this path gets dark and this is light here. Yeah. Really nice. And the great thing about black and white oh. drawings is that it does force you to focus on your, you know, your values more. Yep. Thousand percent. Direct the eye where it needs to go. Mm -hmm. This is great. Yeah. I really love that you can see the highlights and shadows here. This nice kind of choice of not super representational fire color. Yeah. It's almost like a... Like, like a, a mustardy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, very nice. Really but nice it still job. has that intense, like, glow. Mm -hmm. Awesome choice. job. Good choice. All right, let's jump into uh, one more. Maybe two more. Uh, do you want to do... Which one do you want to do? It is up the to your dragon. This guy? Yeah, you want to do the dragon. Yeah, please. Another cave painting. This looks cool. familiar. So I did an illustration for the smogest challenge. A lonely warrior fights the epic golden dragon. Who is going to win? Who going to win? I love this stylized version. Oh, of I hope your work. they're friends after. <laughs> I hope they don't catch on fire. <laughs> Man, but look at these kind of scribbly textures. I love this. Yeah, I like this illustrative approach and how you, it, it kind of feels very animated at mm -hmm. the same time. Yep, definitely right? this dynamic. And like this glowing, you know, li line kind of dragon. Mm -hmm. Maybe he isn't quite solid, so it will be difficult to Smite him? Yes. Smite the smog. <laughs> totally. Yeah, Andre, I love this approach. And even just the approach of this kind of murky, you can't really see the details background, so you kept it very patterny and textured. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. Great job, Andre. We didn't have well time done. to critique. It seems like you are well on your way. Well done. Uh, the style is very consistent, mm -hmm. and I do love your inking skills. Yes. I was going to say, I think that's your biggest strength that I've seen is just that ability to make a convincing ink drawing. Yeah. So great job. Nice job, Andre. You go, Andre. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're on to Karina Lopez. She is a lead artist, marketing designer, and illustrator. Ooh, lead artist. Mm -hmm. So this is I much more graphic and flat. I'm uh -huh. excited to look into it. And cartoonish. <clears throat> Let's go to this one. This right one? Here. Menage a trois? <laughs> I was just intrigued by, you know, the character had like a some sort of black eye, but it isn't a black eye. Yeah, oh, it's they're like a Harlequin. Friends. They're yeah. Harlequins. They're cute. Mm -hmm. That looks like fun. Yeah, so this looks like a design for a line label, a line label, wine label. Yeah, they do def definitely fit, you know, the feel of this wine, mm -hmm. like, you know, selling that wine. And yeah. They look like they're party girls. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> like, I'd love to see them dance or perform kind of thing. Right. So, Karina, is this a mm. real wine or was this more of just kind of like a spec project? Um, I think the only feedback I have is super nitpicky as well as it was for Andre's, but for some reason this, the drop shadow on this text yeah. seems a little jarring mm. to me. It works well like on the label. Right. Because it, it isn't really a drop shadow, it's just textured to so, show the depth of the paper. The logo is neat, of those two girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I would agree to Kat. Oops. The drop shadow could be a bit more, um, like, like softened. Softened, yeah. But not like too soft, but just a little, bit. A little bit more subtle. <laughs> yeah, totally. But yeah, Karina, she says it is real. That's amazing. I'd like Hope to try it's it. good wine. It mm -hmm. looks like great wine. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, let's go to this one over here. Almost Mexico. Cool. Sucker. Love it. That's a nice drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the lines are nice. The lines are very nice. And she's got kind of like an angle, like mm -hmm. to the side. Good perspective. Yeah. Let's see if there's any more to it. That is one thing I'd love to know more about is your um, context. 
So maybe a little bit of a story about why this was created. So it looks like it was obviously for some sort of sporting event. Mm -hmm. For a World Cup? Possibly. Yeah. Let's see when it was made. Yeah, potentially. It's about a month ago. I love the uh, mix of the traditional, like the traditional styling of her crown and yeah. then the, you know, the very modern like mm -hmm. jersey. Definitely. It's cool. Yeah, I love this little and lighting the on the hair too. Her earrings. Yeah. Nice job, Karina. Alrighty. Let's go to maybe one more. One more. Ooh, is this a traditional drawing right here? Let's see. Milagro That's chalk. Oh. It's for another drink. Mm. You get a lot of uh, drink clients. Drink clients. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished piece. Is that in chalk? That Seems looks like, like it. it's in chalk. Mm -hmm. That chalk's hard. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And this is another one I'd specifically love to just like in between the images. You can talk about the process, mm -hmm. um, what your brief was, because yeah. this is obviously I think for a client. Mm -hmm. The one thing I can critique about this character mm. is that. Um, his body doesn't quite support, or uh, doesn't quite go well with, um, like, because your face has a lot of structure, like, mm -hmm. he's solid there, but then the body, the arms, can get a little bit more flimsier. So I would recommend, like, just putting in a little bit more um, anatomy in it, and mm. then that would totally up that um, level of, of design. But everything was cool. Yeah, the actual everything. design of the character is really uh, endearing, interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Let's do one more. Uno mas. One more? Mm -hmm. Let's do, is this a t-shirt? Um, let's do this one. So Summer sip in, another drink. This is nice. Yes. Yeah. Oh, See the, the body sushi. in this, the everything works it's strong. well. Mm -hmm. And the flow of all those sushi coming down. Yeah. It's, it feels almost like you're about to use this for, um, I don't know, some sort of poster. Like there could be some typewritten there yeah. in that negative space. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the space is working for me. Yeah, I think this composition is just strong. Yeah, um, pretty this dynamic. is a good piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. Nice, I like the, the color palette. It's kind of surprising. Like it has these really bright, colors, but then kind of these more earthy tones. Yeah. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. I kind of just dances around it. It's everything I kind of like. Wine, sushi, summer. Good fashion. Yes. It's great. Yeah. This actually looks like your skirt yeah. you're wearing. This is Kay. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, Karina. Thank you so much for submitting. Great job, Karina. Really appreciate it. Both you and Andre have awesome portfolios. Hope you can continue to make illustrations and graphic designs. And they're both really different. Very different. Like You've traditional, flat and stylized. Yeah. Really Fantastic. nice. Yeah. Great All right. Designs. Yeah. We are going to go back to Earth, back to the studio in San Francisco, and finish up. Maybe you can go over um, everything you've done. Oh, okay. The past three days. Yeah. So, to to recap, this is what we started from. Very nice loose drawings and sketches of um, mm -hmm. our character. Oh, there's one more over there hidden. And you use this time to kind of explore her personality. Yeah, and then just get used to the shapes that I want and the flow of things and her, her attitude. Of course, I could take this even further and do more angles like her profiles mm -hmm. and explore that. Yeah. But for the time being, this is what we stuck with. And then I took it into this sketch that I whipped up. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I could, oh, it doesn't keep it. Oh, Photoshop. Oh, Photoshop. <laughs> Let me see if I could just, yeah. I don't know why it doesn't keep it. Nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> Are you just trying to disable it or? I was trying to disable it, but... Um, hmm. If you just press cancel on that, this little guy. Oh, there you go. You got it. 
Yeah, the format of this um, this setup is totally different from home. Yeah, you're very adaptable. You're doing great. <laughs> thank you, Ken. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I can't quite get this out of the way. But you guys could see the yeah. rough image. Mm -hmm. It was That's, just a pen sketch it, on the notepad. It's just a pen sketch. Mm -hmm. It's blotchy right now, but it is a simple pen sketch that I whipped up in my hotel. And then um, we started out with ooh, that. that. <laughs> just kind of plopped it right down. Oh my gosh, I Let love that. The, I kind of like it just like that. You kind of like <laughs> it just cool. like this? We'll mm -hmm. make you a print just like that. like a tarot like card. Oh, tarot cards. Is she? Could totally mm -hmm. be. What could it mean, Kat? Mm. What could that tarot card mean? The flaming sword. Four swords. I don't know. I don't know anything about tarot cards. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so you kind of just built up layer after layer after layer. Yes, I definitely started out with a block in. Let me just turn down all of these layers one by one so that you guys can all check it out. Oh my gosh. Because there are a lot of layers. Oopsies. <laughs> I'm mixing them up too as I'm doing this. But you could see. Oh my gosh, all... it keeps going. There you go. So we started out with this. Mm -hmm. And then we plopped on well, a loose background. Plopped on some shapes for mm -hmm. some caves to direct your attention to them. I started out with just these silhouettes blocking in and then filling them up little by little. Wow, with... you're really navigating this well. <laughs> Just values. With those insides and mm -hmm. values. I started out with color. See how flat those colors are. Yeah. It's just very simple. We'll just pop on mm -hmm. some bits of color. Of course, there's many ways you could approach this. Boom. Boom. <laughs> And then we did some color dodging to help bring yeah. out things. So that's where those highlights and those rays of light come in. So that's one quick way you could, could do it, mm -hmm. definitely do it. Start with some color and then go on top with some value, like your darks and your lights. Mm -hmm. And then end it with like a simple color dodge brush to emphasize your accents and your highlights. And there you go. There you go. Bada bing, bada yeah. bing bong. There it is. And... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool. So somebody won this print. It was Heather yesterday. Heather, I hope you like it. Can't wait to see it. And then, what's next for you, Kay? Like, what's the next exciting thing? What's the next exciting? Life? Thing mm -hmm. after this, I get back home to Toronto to to repack. And oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for two days, and then I go to China to do a live um, private workshop in Chengdu and see some pandas. Hopefully. Nice. That's why we're going Live to the see life. some baby pandas mm -hmm. and like cuddle them. Aww. And then we get back to Toronto for like about two more days, and I head to Orlando, Florida for my niece's birthday vacation in Disney World. Ah, what a great summer. <laughs> so far. Yeah. And then we head back to China for my, um, my brother-in-law's wedding. wedding. <laughs> And then we've got a bunch of workshops coming up, actually. Okay. We have one in Dublin, Ireland. Great. And I forget the other ones, but do check out our mm -hmm. website, schoolism.com. It Perfect. has all the information there mm -hmm. because I can't keep track myself. I'm yeah. just being told, like, you got to head to the airport. Yeah, you, know? you got to go. And so I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, be like, okay. Yeah. So go to Schoolism. Uh, check K out on Instagram and all the other places. And we'll be back in just five minutes for the day three of our Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge, followed by Nathan and Anna to close out the week. So we will see you in a couple minutes. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank Thanks you. so much, Kat, for being of such course. a kick-ass, awesome <laughs> host. Can I say that? Sure. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>